Hello, traders out there in Trader Land. My name's Dez here at Grok Trade, and welcome to the weekend edition. This video is good through Sunday, January 8th, 2012. We're going to hit the ground running. First and foremost, you're going to see a much higher quality of video now than what you've seen in the past. Do yourself a favor, click on full screen, and full screen will be crystal clear. This is in high definition. And I think you'll like this new change. Anyway, uh, be prepared to share this video with your friends because these, these weekend editions are packed full of information. So stay tuned and see it for yourself. On Friday, Dow closing down, S&P closing down. However, NASDAQ up and we have the Russells down. Banks ended the day in bearish territory, but the VIX drops a whopping 4%. We are back down just above the 20 mark. Gold down, silver down, crude oil climbs higher. The US dollar was um, strong yet again all day long for all those who left comments on yesterday's video talking about um, the ideas of why the dollar stays strong and the markets rallied. Um, thank you so much for that. It is great to see comments and to see dialogue taking place and discussions taking place about trading. Now, looking here at the S&P daily, we continue to make our ways higher. We continue to stay above all major moving averages. We continue to stay above the zero line here on the MACD centered oscillator. On Friday, we have a lower high, higher low, and inside trading day. A lot of nothing taking place on Friday, and that is to be expected going into a weekend. Myself, I have a lot of longs going on, and what I did was I added a bunch of TZA to my longs to hedge myself. TZA is a triple inverse on the Russells, or small caps. So if the markets drop by 1%, I'll make 3% on the TZA. Again, that's just to hedge my long positions that I've been holding here. And if I go to a weekly chart, now, well, first on the daily, we have broke out above this trend line. So we go higher, 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 break it. What was resistance and now support. We go higher, 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 higher. We are overextended here. Most oscillators will show us that we are overbought. We need to relax and pull back. However, we could build a high base between these two bands that I've um, put in and that would put us between 1275, 1276, and 1285. If we build a base here, that could give us another run to the upside. However, it wouldn't surprise me to see us drop. We do have a bearish Harami type reversal pattern in the making. We almost have a tweezer top, but not quite. That's something I'm looking at on the daily. When it comes to the weekly chart, we busted some major resistance. That 1268 gang, if you come across here, you can see major, major support on the weekly. We pop it resistance here, resistance, resistance, and we break over the high for the week. Gang, that is really bullish. We're above zero on the histogram. We have nothing but, you know, blue skies ahead. I would say the next area of resistance is going to be this swing right here. That's going to put us, actually, that's right where our resistance was this week. It's 1285. So 1285 acting as resistance. After that, we're just going to be up here at the 13. 20, 15 to 20 range, 13, 15 to 20 range. All looks well if we can get past that 1285. 1285 is a resistance point that we need to crack through. On the monthly chart, we were showing you on the last video last weekend, which was the big year in, we have lower highs for the month, higher lows, very much pinching, but we're popping out to the upside. So for the month, things are looking fairly bullish here. However, the month's just getting started, so don't read into this too much. But if we do rally, it could, I could very easily see us getting to 1335 area. If I go here to the NASDAQ, this is the monthly chart on the NASDAQ. Lower highs, higher lows, but look at this. We're breaking out to the upside, but again, we're just getting started in the month. Don't get too excited about that. The weekly is a little different, though. Resistance. Resistance, 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 boom, busted resistance this week. We're starting to launch from the zero line on the MACD. We found resistance at the 50-week moving average on the daily. The daily chart, we busted a ginormous major trend line. 
major resistance, major resistance, major resistance, major resistance, major resistance, and then let's blow this back up. Boom. We broke over the high, looking really bullish. Now, for small caps, those that do the V newsletter with us, this is an important indice that we watch. And actually, I'll show you some trades um, at the end, tell into this video that I think you guys will appreciate on some stocks. Here, we haven't been breaking out. We're stalled up right now. We're hanging out below the 200 day moving average. The weekly chart, we have made a higher high higher low on the weekly chart but it looks like we're running into some resistance and it just doesn't look overly strong here if you look at the monthly chart we're not breaking out like we're seeing on the Nasdaq and what we're seeing on the S&P the Russell small caps it's just kinda of hanging out right here at this break-even section so that's something we need to keep an eye on now let's take a look here at the banks. This is hugely important banks. Look at this. On the daily chart, we did this high base underneath the 200-day moving average, and boom, and then boom, 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 boom. We keep moving higher. Banks have been doing exceptionally well. On the weekly chart on the banks, this is massive. Not only did we break this major trend line, we broke a main trend line at the same time. Two big trend lines we busted in one week. Gang, that is bullish any way you slice it. Really, really strong. We are now up over the 50-day moving average also. We had the 100-week moving average coming up next. And on the bullet or the monthly chart, look how bullish this is major trend line. If you go back in time, each one of these candlesticks constitutes one month. Big resistance and boom! Busted out over the top. We're stalled right now at the 20 month moving average. Looking really, really promising to the bull side. I'm going to take a look at gold here because I know a lot of you gold bugs out there want to know what's taking place. We had this symmetrical triangle. When we broke it. I told you bad things are about ready to happen to gold. Sure enough, we crash and burn. And then down here, I said, uh-oh, we have a falling wedge. Look for a breakout to take place. Sure enough, we get a breakout. Now I'm getting ready to tell you, look for gold to fall. How do I know that? I don't know it. And what we do have at this moment is a big rally with this extended rally. Now we have what's called a bearish thrusting pattern, and we're caught up between the 200-day moving average and the 20-day moving average. If we make a new low, I say if we get if GLD gets down to 156 or gets below 156, if we go below that and close below that, expect to see a down leg to commence on the weekly chart. We, we're popping up. We have a higher high, higher low. So far as the weekly is concerned we still could make our way higher here so the bigger time frame is more bullish now the far as the monthly is concerned we're at a pivotal point major support major support major support major support major support we're at major support gang if the market's going to break down this is going to be the, a great area for it to happen especially when you get these big red gnarly candlesticks like you have up here look how big these red sell-offs have been and as far as the swing high is concerned, we have one, two, and then three. We already have three major swings in this, this trend. It's very mature, and it's set up to reverse at some point. We need to be watching this like a hawk, because if we drop below this 150 mark, woe to gold. It could be nasty and get there fast. On Friday, gold closed at 16.17 an ounce, crude oil at 101, almost 102. We also had unemployment come out on Friday, and we were at 8.7%. We dropped down to 8.5. That's a pretty good drop, and it's the best in three years, so not too shabby. However, the market still ended up mixed even after that news. Let's show you some trades. Now, the trades we're going to show you are the bullish trades, not the bearish. So these are fundamentally strong, very strong. And they were tactically set up, and these are ones that did fairly well for us. And BECN, we had a bull pullback. So in the V newsletter, we talked about an entry at 2038. Right now we're at 2103. 
HP did well. Symmetrical triangle, if it did break out, set an order, stop limit order right here. We, oh man, just got into that. Look at that. At 59.65, and we're still writing this one. So we got in at 59.65, and we're at 63.61. And then IPGP was another one. Now this one's beat down. You have a falling wedge and all looks well on it. Now it's starting to head up with increasing volume. Everything's looking nice. The entry on this one was 3583 and right now it's sitting at 3876 and then SCSS um, this one, oh by the way I'm holding IPGP right now in my institutional account I was holding SCSS in my institutional account. I am not holding that now. I wish I still had that though. Anyway, 22.28 was the entry. I am not in this one, but wow, for those who did take this trade, you're doing uh, fairly well. We're at 24 at this moment. And let me, if you want to get two weeks free of the Stock Picks V newsletter, I highly recommend that you do it. Just put in the number two and then weeks. Make sure W E E K S is all capitals. So two weeks and you'll get two weeks free. Just get signed up. You'll really be glad that you did that. I'm going to show you here Finviz groups. And uh, for the week, basic materials did very well, up 3.3%. Industrial goods follows with 2.2. Utilities actually was only one in the red for the week. Oh, consumer goods basically flat, but kind of in the red. But one I focus on is financials. It was in the top three, not too shabby for the week. For the month, healthcare doing exceptionally well, up 4.2%. Technology in the gutter. Financials just coming out of the red, going into the green for the month. For three months, financials were near the bottom. So you can see the financials starting to wake up, and I showed you that in the chart as far as the technicals are concerned. The, for the markets to go bullish, the, we have to have the, baking of, the backing of the financials. We are starting to see that. So that is, bodes well for the markets going bullish. However, like I told you, anything can happen. I'm hedged going into the weekend. I don't like uncertainty. I don't know what's going to happen over the weekend. So I want to make sure I'm hedged, and I have certainly done that. Inside the chat room here, we have the regular chat room, and it's free. Anybody can be a part. And this chat room down here is the premium chat room. I want to show you something. And this is Mark the Meerkat Suffering. And uh, for the three-day week that he was trading, he was 52 of 65 trades for 80% success rate. Trade to trade well. Um, Tuesday, he was up more than 10%. Wednesday, he was up almost 26%. Today, or Friday, he was up over 18% for, and the net of that was 54% for the week. As you can see here, they're calling out the trades and I'm just kind of flipping through here they call out trades all day long um, or in the morning from 9 a.m. till uh, about t noon Eastern Standard Time and um, but a thing I want to share with you if you go to the home page and um, share this video with your friends there's a lot of information here and I think that they'll find it very useful and you guys on YouTube feel free to click um, like if you'd be so kind to do so it only takes you a millisecond to do more people that click like the more people that actually sees the video and also go to full screen and it'll be in high definition and you'll be glad that you did that the thing I want you to click on is uh, Grok Trade Mentorship fill out this information will get you more info about mentoring but here are our students watch these videos on what they say about the mentorship program we do have an online mentorship coming up January 21st, 22nd, and 23rd. It's a Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. You can get yourself plugged in. It's a great way to kick off the year. This will put you on the solid foundation to start trading with great confidence in the markets. So anyway, I hope to be able to chat with you more about this. Take care. Safe trading. Please click like. Leave a comment. Love to read those. And share us with a friend.